Hey anyway guys, welcome back to episode 2 of the 4080 build. This time we reveal the engine and gearbox we chose for the car and we get it all mounted in place. Hope you enjoy. So I'd been searching for a while for a second hand motor, a few came up all varying in condition and kilometres but nothing quite ticked all the boxes. So I started looking into import motors, however the majority of companies I came across I'd heard some horror stories from which made me hesitate to buy a motor from them. I did then find Engine City Imports in Brisbane and I scrolled through all the reviews and actually managed to message some people who had bought uh, similar motors that I was looking into from them before and I couldn't find a bad word about them. So I called up Ruben and had a bit of a chat to him and ended up buying a 1HD FT import motor from him. The day these motors arrived marked a huge milestone in the build. As you can see, we actually ended up getting two 1HD FTs, one for my 4080 build and the other to be swapped into Ben's 105, replacing his naturally aspirated 1HZ motor. Upon delivery, we unwrapped his motors and were pleased to find them in actually remarkable condition, especially for 20 plus year old motors. In a nutshell, they're basically a mechanical injection version of the equally rare and robust 1HD FTE. One main advantage of the FT versus the FTE is that there is no need for a loom or ECU, which will simplify the installation process. When choosing a gearbox and transfer case for the build, I wanted to go manual and part-time transfer. So I got in contact with our mates at all 4x4 and were more than happy to help out with the build. With talking the highly knowledgeable and extremely helpful team at all 4 we came up with what I believe to be the best solution to bolt straight up to the FT. We went with a H150 gearbox which had been fully rebuilt with genuine synchros, bearings and seals, with a modified coarse input shaft to suit the motor as well as hosting Terrain Tamer's taller 5th gear modification. The transfer case was a fully rebuilt HF1A unit from all 4 which is a part-time transfer allowing me to run freewheeling hubs on the front. Buying the engine and gearbox separately meant I had to source a few of the joining parts including bell housing, clutch fork, flywheel and the clutch. For the clutch and flywheel, I went with an NPC 1300Nm kit. I researched a lot about clutches and found that the NPC was the most trusted option, as well as the kit came with a flywheel which I needed. combo, I began to assemble it, starting with a clutch kit which included replacing the rear main oil seal and speaker bearing.
able to fold up the new billet flywheel followed by the rest of the clutch kit, making sure to correctly torque all the bolts. I then assembled the clutch fork with a new throwout bearing so I could then mount up the gearbox to the engine. into the garage and begun to lower the engine and gearbox into place. This was a fiddly process but eventually we got it all sitting happy with all the McKinnon's Cruises engine and gearbox mounts. The aim of this was to get the motor sitting as close to the firewall as possible to allow as much clearance for the, between the fan and the radio in the front. Once it was all sitting correctly, I went around to all the mounts and tack welded them in place. Dream engine and gearbox combo finally mounted in the 4080 and now sets the base for a lot of work around it. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to bring you another video as soon as this project progresses. Let us know what you think of the engine and gearbox we chose, as well as any feedback in the comments below. Cheers.